welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with the fifth part of the building sim using open source tools series. In today's video, I'm going to talk about two things. First, we talk about how we can enrich the log messages by adding some external data to make the logs more meaningful and do a little demo in the lab. Second, we talk about how we can extract the geographical information from the IP addresses that may be present in the logs. Extracting the location information from IP addresses can provide a huge value in investigation, detection, and alerting. We will use the free version of the MaxMind GeoIP database for this tutorial and configure SysLogNG to extract the IP location information from the IP addresses present in the logs. I hope you are really excited. Let's get going. Before jumping into the lab and actually starting to configure things, let's take a quick overview of the log enrichment. In order to do the log enrichment with syslog.ng, there are two components. One is the external file that actually has the contextual data that we want to use for enrichment. And then the second is the actual syntax or the parser that we are going to use and the add contextual data function that is going to be used in order to use a selector and then enrich the data from the actual external file. So if we look at the contextual data from external file, you see that the format is selector comma key comma value. So in this example, the selector is the IP address. The key are the server role, the server admin host location, and then the values are web server, someone at example.com and Los Angeles. So now let's talk about the actual syntax to configure this to actually use that data and enrich the log message. So here we create a parser called the p underscore enrichment. We use the keyword or the function add contextual data. The add contextual data function has two arguments. One is the selector and then the second is the path to the external file. So in our case here, we're using the client IP as the selector. So what happens here is as the logs are being parsed, it looks for the client IP address the macro. So you have to have the client IP as a parse variable. Then it'll look up the value matching the client IP in the actual, you know, database file or the external file and then create that key value pair into the log. And that's how the log message and gets enriched. Let's look at this in actual action. I'm now logged on to the syslog.ng box. And as we saw earlier in the slides, we need two components for the enrichment to actually work. One of them is the data file where you actually have the enrichment information. And then the other is the parser function where you call the add contextual data function and you apply the enrichment into a particular uh, variable or the meta key. So in order to do that, I'm going to create the enrichment folder all right, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to create known underscore IPs dot CSV, for example. One thing to note is that the file extension has to be dot CSV. So you have to have the file named as dot whatever dot CSV in order for this to work. Now I'm going to put in, let's say, for example, we're going to use the source IP as the key, and then we're going to assign a tag um, key value pair. So we're going to say if this IP, the host info is this, right? So um, I'm going to set, for example, one into one sixty eight hundred dot fifty one as the key. And then I'm going to say if you see this IP address, then you set the host info to admin server. If you see 168.82, then you put the host info to user one, for example. And then if you see 168.100.64, then you assign the host info, you assign blacklist, for example. So you can you can use multiple. So for example, I could say, you know, I could have this, and then I could say for this, I could create an enrichment that says contact. Uh, contact is someone at example.com, for example. So you can have, you, you don't have to have a unique key. So you can have multiple keys, multiple, multiple enrichments. 
So now we're going to go ahead and save this file. Uh, I'm going to, and then we're now going to configure syslogng to actually read that file and then apply that enrichment, right? So in order to do that, um, since we are going to use the parser function, um, let's go ahead and say parser p underscore enrichment. I'm going to call that. Um, the name doesn't matter, but you have to use the parser keyword. And we're going to call the add contextual data um, method or function or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to say the selector is client. Um, well, you know what? Let me let's go back here a quick second. We're going to use the SSH log as an example. I want to make sure I use the correct key. So here I'm using the source IP. Okay, so the source IP. Going back to the syslog ng, going to add the selector is going to be source IP also. And we're going to say the database to use is Etsy syslog ng and then feed sorry, oops, enrichment and known underscore IPs dot CSV. Um, the other thing I've noticed is in the selector, if you have like a dotted um, variable, then it seems to run into some kind of problem. So it's best to avoid that, but maybe I'll, I'll see what I can find. And then if I find something, I'll update in the comments or the description. So that's that. Now we terminate that with the, and I missed one other bracket. That is the definition of the parser. So now we actually need to call that, right? So after the pattern DB parses that source IP out, that's when we are going to apply the enrichment. So we're going to say P underscore enrichment. And that should be it. Let's check the syntax. Uh, syslog ng dash dash syntax dash only. All right, so I must have missed a semicolon somewhere, and I know that here. It's a good thing we checked the syntax. Now the syntax looks good. We're going to say syslog ng ctl reload so that we reload the config file. All right, that's that. And I'm going to generate a new log message by logging into the system. Okay, that should have given me the log I needed. Go down here and I'm going to copy this log. If you remember, we've been using the TMP input as our um, log injection. Um, in real life, you would just have, you know, streams of logs coming in. This is uh, just a demo system, so it doesn't have a continuous flow of logs. So in here, I'm going to say, for example, 51, I'm going to do the other one is going to be the, um, I guess, I think I did 82, and then I'm going to do 64. All right, so as soon as I save this, so now if I go to the discover refresh, I have three log events here, if you see, the host info has now been populated with blacklist. And um, that's for the 64 IP address. And for the um, 82, it's populated with user one. And then also for the 51 IP, it populated as the admin server. So you see how you can apply some additional information based on certain information in the log messages. So this kind of helps you make sense out of the logs, right? It helps you add some contextual data or additional information to the log messages. And that can really help you create dashboards or, you know, alerts or investigations, pivoting and things like that. So this is pretty cool feature. And I really like this, you know, um, enrichment. Now the next thing we're going to look at is the GeoIP enhancement. Before actually jumping into the lab, let's take a quick look at what it takes to perform the GeoIP enhancement with SyslogNG. First and foremost, you have to install the libmaxmindb-devel package. So that's the MaxMind um, MaxMind database. And then once you have installed that library and download, and then the next thing is you have to download the actual 
MMDB file, which is, I believe, the binary database. So once you download that, you can actually, with the lib max mind DB devil package, you get the MMDB lookup command. So with that, you can actually test and make sure that it works before actually starting to configure syslog ng. In order to download the um, GYP, the free version, you can go to the dev.maxmind.com and then actually nowadays it seems like you have to sign up for an account to download the free database. So if you go ahead and do that and download that database, um, I have already downloaded the database so I don't have to do that and I'm not going to do that yet or right now. So now that we know that we need two components here as well, we're going to go into the syslog ng and let's check yum install lib max mind db dash devil. I've already installed this package, so I'm just running it anyways. Ah, looks like there's an update, so let it update. Why not? Okay, so um, like I said, there's this command, uh, mmdb lookup, right? So we're going to run that command and then perform a test before we actually start configuring syslog ng. So mmdb, um, before that, let me make sure I have the file, the database file right here. So mmdb lookup dash dash file geo um, light to that cd dot mmdb and then let's say the IP address I want to do is 3.4 just plain and simple so as you can see it gives all that you know information like it gives you the code the city code the country and all that information it's just good enough to verify that the GIP database works now let's go into the actual configuration go into the syslog ng configuration now what we have to do is here we are going to perform again we're going to use the parser with the GUIP2 module and then we are also going to rewrite those into a format that we like or we can just leave it the way we want the way it is so say parser p underscore GUIP2 because it's the GUIP2 let me put that there and we're going to say GUIP2 and let me close that already because I'm going to forget that. Then we're going to say dollar. What's the we use the source IP, so we're going to reuse that source IP, comma, and prefix. We want to so this prefix. What it'll do is it'll attach that prefix to whatever you know. So. If you don't do any prefix, then it'll just do postal code or country dot IC code or, you know, I just like to tag it as UIP2 dot so that, you know, if I wanted to rewrite that to something else, then I have a way to do the wildcards and stuff like that. So that's that. And we are going to say the database is going to be Etsy syslog ng. I like to use uh, full path in these type of things. Um, let me copy this file name and back to the config. Let's see, it's this log ng and it's that file. And that should be it. Let me save that. And I'm going to check the syntax. Syntax that's only make sure nothing's wrong. So now we're going to say CTL reload, reload, and that's the config is reloaded. So now the tricky thing is because I'm using um, because I'm using the local IPs here, it's not going to be able to get the uh, geographical information. So I'm going to have to trick it a little bit. Let me see what the time, current time is, 22.25. Um, so let's see, I'm going to do is do this, 22.25. And for the IP address, I'll just put the 1.2.3.4. And let me save that. And hopefully it's converted that into the 
So back to the Kibana interface. Let's refresh. Okay. Something didn't work quite right. Let's see if there was an error of some sort. Don't see much. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I know what happened. <laughs> All right, so what we needed to do is actually we created that, but we never called it um, into the log statement. So what we need to do is we need to call that function. So before we actually send to the Elasticsearch destination, we're going to say p p underscores uip2 not much has changed so i'm going to restart without checking the syntax oh well we'll just, just log in the ctl reload bar log. let me check the time again 27 uh it's the tmp tmp input so i'm going to say 27 save this again Hopefully now it's going to work. Refresh. There's that message. And as you can see here, we've got all the UIP information. And then we can also see that the prefix is added. So we have this UIP continent geo name. We've got the country information, United States, and uh, you know, register country name seems to be Australia. And all those information, latitude and longitude. Right, so that's how you can add the GOIP enhancement into your syslog ng, and that way you can again create heat maps. You can, you know, like focus on a particular um, country of origin in the IP addresses. You can categorize things. So it's really helpful to add these types of additional information or enrichments into the log messages to make the most sense out of the log messages. So that's all for today's video. I hope the video was useful. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and comment for any feedback or if you need any assistance, please let me know and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.